All right, Shalom, Brother Kabad back with another GMS lesson. GMS, keep pushing. Before I go any further, I give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakapadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and group well. I now Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. <clears throat> all right, um, I was doing some reading earlier, and I came across a scripture. Um, and it made me just sit back and think, you know, and be thankful, you know, that the Lord has made us Israelites, man. You know, the Lord could have made you a part of any nation, right? But you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, right? The Heavenly Father has made you to be Israelites, man, from the seed of Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, right? And that's something to be very, very thankful and grateful about, man. Because that's who the Lord is dealing with. That's who the Lord gave his wisdom and knowledge and understanding to, man. To make us that special people. Alright, so without further ado. It's going to be a kind of long lesson. It's Isaiah 41 and 8. It says, but thou Israel. Alright. Who's Israel today? And who's always been the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans. It says, art my servant. Jacob, whom I have chosen. The Lord chose us. It wasn't anything special that we did. Alright? <clears throat> the Lord chose us, man. Out of the out of the out of the, the so-called Chinese. Out of the so-called Japanese. The so-called white man. The so-called Africans. The so-called Arabs. The so-called Hawaiians. The Lord chose Israel, man. The seed of Abraham, my friend. And that's something to be, to be very thankful for because as I'm going to jump over, go backwards to uh, verse 40. Even though the Lord created these other nations, right? He doesn't care about them, man. He, is, he, he doesn't give uh, a, 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 a rat's behind about them, man. And the scriptures prove it. That's another reason why these nations are mad at us, man. Because we were the chosen nation. Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. And I count it as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he take up, up the aisles as a very little thing. So all the nations that I named prior, right? The so-called white men. So-called Africans. So-called Arabs. Asians. All right. <laughs> uh, 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 Japanese Okay uh, Hawaiians You name it man There is a drop of a bucket You got a bucket And a drop falls out You don't care about that drop Right You have A, 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 a bucket full of water You don't care about that drop Right Or if Look Dust on a, on a balance Right This is They are counted as the small dust Of the balance dust don't move that scale. That's how the Lord feels about these other nations. I'm just now verse 17. It says, Isaiah 40 and 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. You see? And that's why you need to be very grateful and thankful that the Lord made us Israelites, man. Because the other nations, he count them as nothing, man. What is nothing? Nothing. You know? Vanity. <laughs> you know? The Lord don't care about these other nations, man. So let's get back. Get back to uh, another priest that I wanted to bring out. <clears throat> this is... Uh, Deuteronomy Book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 And uh, Verse 6 It says Keep therefore and do them Slaki I started 5 Deuteronomy 4 and 5 Behold I have taught you statutes and judgments Even as the Lord my, my power commanded me That ye should Do so in the land Whether ye go to possess it which is Moses, right? 
talking to the children of Israel to keep the commandments. And there's a reason for the Lord giving us the commandments, man. It says, verse 6, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this is a great nation. This great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right? For what nation is there so great who have the Most High so nigh unto them as the Lord our power in all things that we might call upon him? So the thing is, the Lord gave us these law, statutes, commandments to make us a, 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 a great nation, right? And a wise and understanding people in the sight of the nations. The Lord could have gave his word to any other nation, man. He could have gave his law, statutes, commandments to any other nation, but he chose us. Be thankful, man. You know, Jake is, is, is a, a very ungrateful, man. And they're not going to uh, understand the... the, the uh, the value of being an Israelite, man. They're not going to understand the value of being an Israelite. Here it is, we're telling our people the value of being an Israelite, but they don't want to hear it. You know? Going back to uh, Isaiah 1 and 3, the ox know of his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel don't even, don't even consider. Right? Matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. Isaiah 1 and 3 It says um, I started to Isaiah 1 and 2 says Hear O heavens And give ear O earth For the Lord has spoken I have nourished and brought up the children And they have rebelled against me Who's that children man? The one that the Lord chose man The Israelites So called Negro Latino Native Americans it says, verse 3, the ox know of his owner and the ass his master's crib. And look, that, and that's how, you know, we rebelled and the Lord put us in what? Hardcore slavery, man. And now he put the curses upon us. Deuteronomy 28. Right? So verse 3, Isaiah 1 and 3, the ox know of his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, do not know. My people do not consider. You see? They don't even consider it, man. When you tell them you're, they're Yasha Allah, princes of the power, all right? That we're going to be ruling. That we're the special people. We're the Lord's chosen people, man. You know? But Jake don't even consider it, man. But you better be considerate and you better be thankful, man. Because the Lord could have made you any nation. could have made you a Moabite. He could have made you a goot, man. You know? Like I said, this one's a short lesson. Just, you know, you know, be thankful, man. I'm going to bring out one last one. This is uh, Baruch chapter 3. And um, I'll start at 36. It says, He hath found out all the way of knowledge and have given it unto Jacob, his servant. Right? Going back to Isaiah 4, 41. And to Israel, his beloved. Right? The Lord gave, gave him this word to the elect on this side, right? Because the Lord is dealing with a remnant that's going to be saved. Two-thirds of our people are going to be cut off, and that one-third is going to be saved. It tells you in Zechariah 13 chapter, right? So it says from the top, Baruch 3 and 36, it says, He have found out all the way of knowledge and have given it unto Jacob, his servant, not to all the other nations, Right? And to Israel his beloved, because Jacob's name was changed to Israel after he wrestled the angel and received the blessing. Okay? So just be thankful, man. If you're a so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, right? And you come across this uh, lesson for the first time, you are an Israelite from the seed of Jacob. Right? Be thankful that the Lord has created you so. You know, so, you know, with that, you know, I'm going to close, you know, we'll give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwatash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, teaching us the truth according to the Bible, and we will, I know Shalom to all the sincere occupants throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity, Shalom.